last winter, you know, we lost most of our bees. I think we made a video on that, didn't we? Yeah. We had like 20 hives and we came through the winter with like five, I believe. And most of which are at a friend of mine's house. <coughs> so I went over there this week and uh, that's where all these bees came from. I pretty much just took either uh, I either took the queen out of those hives and brought her here with some bees or I took some uh, swarm cells which are when honeybees are preparing to reproduce they, they uh, make new queens and the old queen will leave and the, and the uh, new queens will hatch out in the old hive so anyway some of those are probably swarm cells that I took with some bees and they'll hatch out here and make new hives I wanted to make more bees this year. I wanted that to be my focus. So far we've made how many? Maybe 12. 12 hives out of 4 hives. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feed these. I usually don't feed our bees, but I'm going to feed these so that they'll produce as much brood as possible. And then I'll probably split these again at least one more time. Try to get up around 20 to 30 hives. Or a hundred, whatever we can get. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I know. We're always in yeah. honey need. Yeah. I think I can manage a hundred hives pretty easily. That's my goal, is to have a hundred hives. People are always surprised when I tell them that you have like a dozen. Like yeah. they're like they think that's a lot, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. I think with our land base and, and what we have, I could do a hundred hives and 50 to 80 sheep or something like that. Those are kind of my goals. I mean, honeybees, I could have 500 right here. Probably, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> I could do 100 easily. Because they kind of manage themselves a lot of times. If you get the right bees. These are <clears throat> from uh, Johnny. He's a good friend of mine. and. Uh, it's probably been about 15 years ago he, he called a swarm just like this um, and put them in a box and they've been in the ha his house for like 15 years and he hasn't done anything with them. So in the past five years I've been managing that colony. But they just, I never take any honey from them. I just look at them every once in a while. So anyway, these bees all came from that colony. When I started, I took um, some brood out of that and made some queens. So, these are all those genetics. So if you remember in our one of our previous videos we showed how um, we lost most of our bees last year. Um, but we do have several that are, are doing really well. We have three hives here at this location that are really um, doing good. The first time I opened them this year they were just exploding with bees and so I'm going to use these to make more bees so we will be uh, focusing on um, raising queens and um, basically splitting these hives as much as we can to make more hives so today I want to show you how we get started in uh, raising queens so um, I found Mike Palmer online a couple years ago and uh, last year I tried his method uh, it's called the cell builder basically we're, we're robbing brood from um, the two outside colonies and, and putting them in the middle colony to make it as a, make it as uh, strong as possible so the first thing I want to do is uh, since I'm using the middle hive for uh, cell builder, I want to um, go through the colony and make sure that they are not preparing to swarm. I'm going to be looking for queen cells. 